Hello students. Today we will be learning about area. In the TEKS, area is 3.11c. It is the use of concrete and pictorial models of square units to determine the area of two-dimensional figures. Now, we're going to be focusing more on the pictorial models, the pictures. Now, what is area? Area is the number of square units needed to cover a surface. We're going to be focusing on the squares you will see right now on the picture. Now, one way to measure the area is to count the square units. This is a rectangle. We already label them with numbers. They are already square, already in this rectangle. I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. In this rectangle, the area is 12 square units because there are 12 squares and each one is considered to be a unit. Now on this one, you still have square units also, but you have one additional thing. You have triangles now on each side. First, let us count the square units and then I will explain what these are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, so far we have 19 square units. Now these triangles is half of a square. So, if a triangle equals half of a square and we have two triangles, we can put them together to make one square unit. So half plus half equals one square unit. Now we already counted 19 square units here. So now we do 19 plus one square unit for these two equals 20 square units. And this is how you label it when you do area, square units. This is a different way to find the area of a 2D shape. For example, we have this rectangle. There are no more square units in the inside, so there is no way you can count them anymore. But there is a way by using this formula. The formula is to find the area, we must first multiply length times width. And what is the length? In this rectangle, the length is from here to here, and the width is from here to here, and that's all we need. We have to multiply 7 times 3. When we multiply 7 times 3, that equals to 21. Now, since now there is a measurement, the measurement now is inches. We're not going to name it square units anymore. We're going to name it inches. So. The area equals to 21 inches squared. Now, we're not going to write square units either. All we have to write is inches, period, with a 2 on the side for square. Now, here I've drawn two different 2D shapes because I want to find the area of these two shapes. Now, I want you to find out first this one and then this one. And I want to add them together to find out the total area of these two shapes. But first, let's go to this one. Now again, remember I said that length times width equals the area. So I did 3 times 5 equals 15 centimeters squared. Then I came to this one over here. And I said the same thing. The area is the length times the width. So I did 6 times 2 equals 12 centimeters squared. Okay? Then I grab the total area on this shape and the total area of this shape and I plus them. That is to find the total areas of both of the shapes. So I get 15 plus 12 equals 27 centimeters squared. And that is to find the area of both of these shapes. Now, this is a review of what I just taught you right now. One, 
that you can count the area by counting the square units. All you have to do is count the little squares. How many squares there are is the total area. Two, remember that each triangle equals half a unit. So if you have two squares, then you have one unit. And three, area equals length times width. You use this formula whenever you do not have square units, but you do have a length times a width, and all you have to do is multiply both of them, and you will find the area. I will see you next week to show you more on area, and we can do more activities. Bye.